Hey guys, Ashok here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up both Enderall VR and Skyrim VR to work with separate sets of mods without needing both games configured through Mod Organizer 2. This is actually going to let you play Enderall VR even if you've already modded your pre existing Skyrim folder with hundreds of mods that may not even be Enderall compatible. But we can still get Enderall VR working without actually having to compromise our pre-existing Skyrim VR installation. So I will show you how you can get this set up and it should be relatively easy. I'm not going to go over the whole Enderall modding process as I've covered that more extensively already in my previous video, but in this video I will show you how you can set up Enderall VR without having to actually compromise your pre-existing Skyrim game if you already have the game installed and modded with hundreds of mods. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our Windows desktop. Now, before we get started, just note that you will need six files, Enderall SE update, Enderall SE, Enderall VR patch, Mod Organizer 2, Mod Organizer repack, and Skyrim VR repack. And I have download links provided in the video description below. Now, what you want to do first is you're going to actually go ahead and navigate to your Steam folder. And then you're going to go to Steam Apps, Common, and you're going to actually make a backup copy of your Skyrim VR folder. So we're going to back this folder up. And then we're going to actually delete Skyrim VR. Once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and fire up Steam. and you're going to actually reinstall a clean copy of Skyrim VR. So you can actually right click on properties, you're gonna to go to local files, and then you will hit verify integrity of game files. And this process may take a bit of time, depending on your network connection speed. All right, and once Skyrim is done reinstalling, we will go back to our Skyrim VR folder. And we're going to actually rename it. We can call it whatever we want. I'm going to go ahead and call this folder Enderall VR. And then we will go ahead and take our backup copy of the game and we will actually rename it back to its original name of Skyrim VR. So we'll still be able to play our original copy of Skyrim. Now you're going to go back to the files that you've downloaded from my links in the video description below. You're going to take this file here, Skyrim VR Repack. You're going to right click on it, hit copy, and then open up your Enderall VR folder, and then hit paste. Right click on this file and go ahead and hit extract here, and then hit yes when prompted to overwrite files. And right now we're just going to take some of the most essential VR specific mods that are Enderall compatible, which have to go in your game's base folder, and we're just extracting them to the uh, install folder for our new 
clean copy of Skyrim, which we've now retitled as Enderall VR. The next step is you're going to go ahead and install Mod Organizer 2. Hit I accept, and then just follow the prompts. You can install it to any folder you want. I'm going to put it in the games folder. And then hit next. Next, I'm going to tick create a desktop shortcut. Click next and install. Click Finish, and then if you get an error, click OK. OK, this window should pop up. If you do not get a window asking to create a new instance, uh, you should have a, a window which will allow you to tell it you want to create a new instance. So you can click the option to create a new instance. It should bring this window up, and then you can click Next. Click Create a Global Instance. And when you see this window, you actually do not want to select Enderall or Enderall Special Edition. You want to actually browse to the new folder that we just created called Enderall VR. So you're going to go to C colon, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you're going to select Enderall VR and then click Select Folder and then hit Next. Click Next, Next, and Finish. You can click No. We don't need to see the tutorial. And then you can go ahead and click Yes when asked about NXM links. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to close Mod Organizer 2. And we're going to actually install our Enderall VR mods through Mod Organizer 2. Now you're going to navigate to C colon, users, your username. Now you're going to actually enter in app data. This folder may be hidden for you, so you may have to key it in manually. Now navigate to local, Mod Organizer, Skyrim VR, and you're going to actually go ahead and you're going to delete the profiles and mods folders. Now if you go back to the folder where we have our downloaded files, you actually want to right click on Mod Organizer Repack and just go ahead and click on Extract. Now you're going to open up this new repack folder and you're going to cut the mods and profiles folders into the Skyrim VR folder that we just went ahead and set up in Mod Organizer. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to relaunch Mod Organizer. And once it's open, you can go ahead and you want to install the files we got from nexusmods.com. So you can go back to our list of downloaded files. You're going to actually copy over Enderall SE by just dragging it to the left-hand window pane. You want to drag it to the very top and then click OK. And once Enderall SE is installed, we, we can go ahead and install the Enderall SE update by doing the same thing. We will go ahead and drag it and drop it to the left window pane. You want to go ahead and make sure that you bring it over right underneath Enderall SE. And then go ahead and for the quick install name, we're going to rename this to Enderall SE dash update. Once that's finished, we're going to do the same thing for Enderall VR patch. 
go ahead and drag this right underneath Skyrim VR Tools, and then go ahead and release your mouse to install it and click OK. And then you can enable these three mods by ticking the corresponding tick box. Now on the right hand side, we want to take Ender All Forgotten Stories and you need to drag it to the very top of the list. And then we need to take Ender All VR Patch and it needs to be dragged all the way up near the top, right underneath AHC More HUD. You always want to make sure that on the left hand side that you have Ender All SE, Ender All SE Update, Ender All SE Bug Fixes, Sky UI, J Containers VR, More HUD VR, Skyrim VR Tools, and Ender All VR installed at the top in that exact order. And on the other side, you also want to make sure that Ender All Forgotten Stories, Ender All SE Bug Fixes, Sky UI SE, AHZ, More HUD, and Ender All VR Patch are also installed at the top in that exact order. Once that's done, you're actually all set. We can actually go ahead and click on Run, and we will be right in Ender All VR. I would also like to thank the incredible modders who have brought in this game over to the special edition. And I also would like to give a shout out to the incredible VR modder, Sasa2727, who actually developed the VR patch, which makes this game possible to play in VR. So as you can see, guys, here we are. We are in Enderall. We can hit Explore Enderall, and we can start a new game. And we are basically playing this game in VR using a copy of our Skyrim folder, which we basically retitled from Skyrim VR to Enderall VR. And by doing this, it means that our pre-existing installation of the game is still intact, so we can actually go back to Steam. And if we return to our Steam VR home, because we installed Enderall VR to a copy of our original folder, we can actually relaunch our original Skyrim installation. And as you can see, we can still play our pre-existing copy of Skyrim. And you can even have this game modded with mods in your data directory. And it will actually behave just fine. So there you have it guys, that is a quick tutorial on how you can go ahead and get Skyrim and Enderall both running in VR with separate configurations of mods without having to actually manage both games through Mod Organizer 2. I hope this video was useful and I hope you guys enjoy playing Enderall in VR.